heading into the beach for a little catch to the Palapa for some lunch. Are you ready for some football? Well, the beach at Tenacatita is pretty great. It's an invitation to be active in the sand or just floating down this cool, lazy river. Throw and catch in the sun, that'll take it right out of you for sure. Time to fuel up. And after lunch, I ran across this guy. Watch him show the youngsters how it's done. Oh, he got that one for sure. Well, when I got back from the beach, I had to do some work on the mast, and this is what I found. Yeah, my gooseneck is in really bad shape. That stainless steel pin you see in the middle, can't normally see that. Normally that pin is encased in some black ABS plastic that allows that one joint to act as a universal joint. So from that one pivot point, the boom can be moved up and down and side to side. But when that ABS plastic fails, that boom doesn't like to move at all. All right, outbound in the morning, motoring back to the cruise, leaving Tenacatita, splitting this rock here and the mainland. There's some pinnacles here you gotta be careful about, but it's doable. Away from Tenacatita, going back to La Cruz. This is going to take a few days. You know, when I got to Tenacatita and I took a look at that gooseneck, it's not good. It's it's really shattered and needs to just be replaced. I need to fix that gooseneck. Now's the time. I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit, but I think better safe than sorry. You know, this is just part of this uh, this trip now. You know, when you set off on a trip like this, you don't know each chapter. Well, one of the chapters is going to be called Gooseneck. Okay. Well, I'm anchored in La Cruz. Let's see what can be done about removing this gooseneck. All right, so there's the gooseneck right there. It's, uh, it's, this is like a, uh, it's like a cast aluminum piece that slides into the boom here and you can see it's held on by two rivets on either side um, and there's a there's a piece here that mounts to the mast and then a pin runs from runs up from the bottom and connects up here to a, a u shackle that holds tack. Uh, and there's also a center piece in here that you can tell got shattered by the pressures involved. We're gonna see more of the same over here, but we're in the shadows. Oh yeah, maybe. Well, you can see the pin, how it holds the tack. There's the bottom of the pin. You can see the crack there too. Just cracked that thing and so yeah, here are the two rivets. I'm gonna have to drill those rivets out and pull this this piece out.
here I'm removing that retainer plate. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. If you know, put it in the comments. It keeps the slides that are attached to the sail in the mast track. So by taking it out, I can remove the slides and effectively remove the sail from the mast. I'm going to remove the halyard from the mainsail and secure it to the mast for the time being. Okay, my small hand tools. Oh, uh, well, let's just use this pliers, that'll be fine. I need to do though is hold this oh no there's enough pressure holding that together okay we don't want to lose that all right so if I jostle this oh boy all right so uh, this line here is the topping lift and right now the topping lift is pulling the boom up so it's kind of keeping some pressure on here so what I'm gonna do is relax the topping lift which will set the boom down on the Dodger Lower that. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, look at that. The boom will come out on its own. Okay. Well, you can just see this piece wants to come out. And, and once it does, it's going to get really loose. So. What I'm going to do is tap down on this. There we go. I'm on now. There it is. And there it is. Okay. I got to be really careful because this is going to want to come flying out with the movement. And uh, I'm trying to save as many pieces as I can. So I'm going to pull this out and set it down. And try not to lose too many of these pieces overboard. All right, here we come. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. And... Let's see if we can get that other last piece out. Well, there's a lot of little bitty chunks look at this let's set these down for now so i can play with this one okay this i'd like to get it out in one piece oh here we go there it is so this kind of supported the pin on the inside but the strange thing about it is that's like some kind of a ABS plastic. Yeah, so 
Now I just got to remove this piece and this from the mast and we should be on our way. So we got four rivets to come out here and we got four rivets to come out here and we should be good to go. So here's a couple of rivets that could be part of this. So we'll just have to see. It's, it's not clear. What I want to do is just tap. guy does not want to come out you know? then it occurred to me maybe I should pop those rivets out to do is knock these rivets out there's one get all these rivets knocked there's another so now we should be able to maybe pull this out a little bit getting some play not on this side yet so let's see oh look at that I am getting some play on one side uh, not so much on this side which tells me maybe I've still got some uh, action going on with this rivet there it comes oh look at this oh there's the cap the end cap is out wow holy macro I gotta look in there Wow, all right. So my out haul and my reefing line. Okay. These are the little, the ends of the pop rivets. Wow, they were in there pretty good. There we go. Had a uh, double overhand stopper on the reefing line. And now that is free. Oh, that was gonna come out. Look at that, look at that crack right there. Well, it's my first time popping rivets, but with this new skill, I was able to remove the gooseneck from my mast. 